Hello my darlings and welcome back to San My Shuno. We are back in the Spice District again today. Back with Lorena and Dorothy at their brownstone house, ready for renovation. Last time we started on the living, kitchen and dining area, which we'll get to finish today and also make a start and maybe finish the back garden area too. So let's do this. Happy Wednesday, my loves, and welcome back once again to Let's Build the World. That was very dramatic. I just felt like I needed a dramatic moment at that point. I really did. And do you know what? I flopped one right out for you. We're back. We're back to... <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're back to San Myshuno floating away into the abyss. So today, here we are. We are back down into the uh, kind of ground level. It's not really ground level because it comes up on some stairs here. What's going on with the railings? What's going on with this? Is there a glitch that I don't know about at the minute that the railings are all like buggered up? Because they're all doing it. What is this? Look, only on one side over there. It Honestly, they do an update and they break the game more than they did before, don't they? For goodness sake. I'm not even going to comment. We're just moving on. So what are we doing today? Well, as I said in the intro, we're going to finish off this area here. We're going to get some more details down in this area. We're going to do a bathroom together, maybe. And I'm thinking about over in this little area here, adding in a washer and dryer. I thought it'd be nice to have it in this house for some reason. But the only thing with that, and I'm kind of like, should we do that? Is the fact that all of the other house are going to be needing a washer and dryer. And I just can't be bothered to flop one in. So I don't think I am going to do that, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to skip over that. I'm going to skip over that and pretend that I didn't say anything. And we... Uh, oh, they made some butternut squash soup. Is this new? I have never remember butternut, butternut squash soup being made in The Sims before. What is that on top? Is that a clover? Why would you put a clover on your butternut squash soup? I mean, I've eaten clover before. Um, I used to be a cow. <laughs> I didn't used to be a cow at all. It's very silly. But um, I have. why am I going into the fact that I've eaten clover before? I don't know. We're going to carry on. But this is new. I saw it. I saw an option for it. And I was like, do you know what? I could eat that right now. And I decided on making it in The Sims instead. We're waffling. We're also doing um, the back garden area. Don't know what we're going to do out here just yet. I'm feeling like a little like breakfast table moment here. Like a little patio chair. Like with that view looking out. I think that would be stunning. Um, maybe a little seating area. Maybe somewhere for them to grow some stuff. I think that might be something that they would like to do. And then next week, what we're going to do is we're going to come down and do this whole basement area. So as I said, I want like a swimming pool and like a spa moment down here, I think. Um, I really do. I really do. And I do want to work on this a little bit off of camera as well. Uh, so I will be working on a few of the other rooms, not the main bedroom and stuff. But I do want like a guest bedroom and stuff here. Um off of camera so that will be happening yes it will indeed so anyway here we are let's continue onwards so we're going to make a start on the kitchen area we do need a few more decoration pieces here i'm thinking like a uh, a bin over in this corner here did the chef hustle come with a new bin i don't really think did it i don't I, I don't know if it did or not now we're on stuff packs no no it didn't very surprising about that very surprised um, so we're going to continue on. Um, I want just... Hey, I've seen someone do this and it worked. Where they put this inside of here. And it kind of like made it work. I don't want the light there. Do I need to size this down slightly? Uh, like that. No, that looks shit. Let's just do the black bin. <laughs> we'll just do the black modern pin and put you across there like that. I'll keep the soup out because that's very effective. It really is. I also put the dishwasher in um, last time and I, I was fuming about it on Twitter. I was like, why couldn't we have had this for the end piece? That would have been perfect, like fit. But then my lovely friend Sam, aka Hey Harry, said they would have to make a whole nude kind of slot size for that to work because the big dishwashers would be able to slot to it and stuff. And that makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna we're gonna see past that. We're gonna see past that and continue on. Put the new sink in as well. I didn't put the new sink in last time, but love this new sink. Would have loved to have seen this sink in a black um rather than the swatches, but you know, 
I'm constantly fighting the Sims team for swatches. I really am. We need things out here. We need things and stuff out on these sides. So let me grab a menagerie of beautiful things and we'll flop them up together. Okay, I've pulled out several bits and bobs and stuff for the kitchen. But I think what we're going to do is just make a start on the... Well, put all the details that I want into the living room as well. And for some reason, I found this um, vase in the household inventory. And I have no idea why. So we're just going to flop that up there. I think that looks very nice. That's going to stop me from putting a painting there now. Kind of like the fact there's paintings on the floor here. So I'm happy that I found that. This wonderful little object from the book nook kit pack i think we're gonna flop that to there just like that and then over on this side here i think what i want to do is add in i've got in my head the side table that i want to use and it's this one do you come in a better brown i think there is a better brown oh no there isn't okay well that's the brown um uh, do you know what i'm gonna go for it i am i'm gonna absolutely go for it i'm gonna flop this in onto the side here and then i think what i want to do is add on top a lamp in that area there. I'm going to hang some coats and stuff here, I think. Uh, and maybe like the little mailbox or the little like letter like the holder, the key holder. Put that over on that side there. And then use a nice lamp over on this side. Now, I've been using this one here a lot recently just because it's my favourite. But I'm just wondering if I could do something a little bit different in this house. Um, we could even go down the route of having it kind of like industrial like this. I know this looks very weird, but no, I don't think that's going to be the vibe either. Maybe we could use this one from the book nook kit instead. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I would like to change that color slightly, though. Do we have a darker one? Oh, it's a bit of gold there. Don't mind a bit of gold. Gold. I kind of like it in this room as well. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it together. Flop that into there. You are not invited anymore, my darling. You are absolutely going. Yes, I like that. Yes, that one there. And then something maybe a little bit more classic or even like something they picked up on their travels or something for a lamp here. Maybe you in a black. No, that's a floor lamp, Aiden. Oh, I really like this in here, though. Let's try it. It's going to be quite big. It's going to be a bit of a statement piece, but I think it could work. I don't have my tool mod installed at the minute, so hopefully this is going to be at the right height. Oh, it is. It is indeed. Let's flop you to there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Just a little bit of difference there, and I'm very much for it. Pulled up this little, um, uh, I don't know what you would call it, little, uh, uh, <laughs> little we weaved basket. There we go. We got there, darlings, didn't we? Little weaved basket there. Um, just for, for firewood and whatnot, that kind of thing. So maybe I could, over this side here, I could pop in this little object down on the side here, like this. Just there, over on that cheeky side there. Oh yeah, I like that. Now, this is a musical. I would I reckon they would like a little bit of a music a little bit of music for this household. I wouldn't say they're a musical household. They just like music. Uh so I'm gonna use these. I don't really like that painting. I don't mind this one, but again, I don't think that one goes very nicely in here as well. We're just gonna sell them. They're just not working with the aesthetics. But maybe I could pop up the little record player. Or even this. That one's quite cute. But I would prefer... Oh, okay. I would prefer the record player. But it's not going to fit on top of that side unit there. So I probably need to use the OMSP shelf to get it on there. Yeah, there we go. I'll pop that up there. But it definitely needs something above it up on the top here. Maybe a bit of art. Maybe even a bit of like a sculpture piece. Uh, and something that I don't really use very much. So let me see what I can find. I'm going to use this piece here. This piece that came with a pack. <laughs> I can't remember what pack it came with. Uh, something. That there looks wonderful up in that corner there. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's just added something that I needed right there. Yes, it has. Right. Okay. And then for the shelves, we're going to use these new wonderful plates that came with the, the home chef hustle, whatever it's called. I'm going to use these. In fact, I'm going to put these on this side, nearer the oven, because I did pull out some mugs. Because we've got a coffee machine there now, darlings. Um, so I'm going to flop up some mugs next to it here. I don't like the way that they're all not evenly spaced. 
but we know what snap points are like with the sims we're just going to keep it as it is um just these condiment basket condiment basket up there a little a few little cheeky plants as well maybe they're starting those off to grow outside there love the fact with this new shelf that the bigger items snap to the top um that makes me very happy but they don't snap to the bottom they still kept the the the, the tiny objects can only go on the bottom ones and that's very annoying um even this like object here should be able to snap there but it doesn't so very annoyed about that to be honest um this i wanted this here oh i can put it there oh lovely yes we'll flop you to there as well but i'm gonna go for the black there we go yes that's a vibe that's an absolute vibe if i've ever saw one myself um this object here love this i think this is from the ranch pack is it maybe let's move the super long a little bit more very aesthetic that very much for that and then I'm going to put in the pans underneath of this shelving unit there, like that. I did pull out this knife block, but it's very large. Um, and I don't... I'm going to size it down. I'm going to size it down and put it next to that coffee machine there. It does cut in quite a little tiny bit, but I'm going to oversee it. I'm going to absolutely oversee it. Now, there's nothing else I can put there, really, apart from maybe those what I use all the time. It's these little things here. The little pots, the little pots of goodies from Dine Out. I'm going to pop you all the way along and then just change the colour of them. I would love more like little tiny items. I really would that we could just plop everywhere for a kitchen or even better yet to be able to filter stuff for kitchen and stuff. I would like to be able to do that too. But you know, Sims, what more can be said? That's looking better. They've got some music in here so they can listen to some tunes while they cook. They've got a bin. <laughs> don't know why the bin came out, but they've got a bin. They've got a bin at least. And then I thought over in this corner here, because we're not doing the washer and dryer moment, they do like to paint. So I think this would be a perfect place to have like a little mini studio area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little mini studio and put in that easel. I love that really simple easel. This one. This one here. Yes. I'm going to flop you into that corner there. I'm going to get out some canvases, canvas, and then flop the canvas over to the side here when my computer catches up. What are you doing, canvas? Really? Just text search for canvas, please. Okay. These here. Will that fit there? Oh, it does just about. Oh, that's kind of perfect, though. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, I like the aesthetics going on there. I really do. And as I said, I'm going to keep it slightly minimal as well, this house. So I, don't, I was going to do the artists kind of trolley you know with the paint brushes and stuff but i don't think it needs it so i'm not going to do that at all not going to do it at all do you know what would look lovely along here a little plant moment no mm, not that i like this in this uh room but i don't think i want to use this one i think what i want to use is that other row of plants this one here yeah, and we'll flop that just in front here like that. They should be able to get them use that bin, no problem. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Oh, I'm very much vibing with it in here. I really am. Yes, nice and warm and inviting, but it's still got that industrial vibe to it, which is what I really wanted. Oh, I'm for it. I really am. Okay, we're going to continue on with the outside area. So let me pull a few other bits out and we'll get started. Well, here we go into the garden oh but first i did go ahead and furnish the bathroom just a very simple little shower room and um, got everything that you would need for all your bits and bobs but we're gonna make a start in the garden together yes we are I'm gonna use these lights love these lights uh i think actually i'm gonna do one there one smack bang in the middle and then another one there as well <clears throat> yes like that and we're gonna as i said i wanted like a little a breakfast moment here i can imagine coming out having a little bit of breakfast and watching the world go by i think that would be the perfect area for it around there i'm gonna pop this tree right in the corner here though maybe shuffle you a little bit further forward yeah i like that and i think maybe you over in this corner and i'm gonna spin you around because i love the little mossy detail on the spiral i think that's really cute i would love that plant pot in real life i really would I'm going to flop you to around about here. Um, all from the Blooming Rooms pack. Uh, I do like that pack. 
It's a very nice little plant pack there. Just very simple. Nice. That'd be nice to lit up at night as well. Put some hedges along here. Put some hedges along on that point there. And then I put in the planters on this point here. I think that's going to be the perfect like space for it. Hopefully, oh, she's not going to be, they're not going to be able to get in and use that. Oh, I think what I'm going to have to do instead is do the planters along on this point and put in where I would probably want them to come down if they've got like guests and stuff over, but then guests on a picnic table. <sighs> it's not really the vibe. I think we can do better than that. Let's do it together. I think they could have a full dining table out here, to be honest. Uh, maybe something glass, but not too elaborate. Maybe actually this one. We'll do it in a black as well. Yeah, we'll pop you to here like this and then do some outsidey looking chairs. Chairs that kind of look like they could be uh, out and weathered, you know? Maybe these. No, don't really like that. Maybe this one instead. No, nope, absolutely don't like that one either. Do you know what? I'm gonna stick with the same chairs what we used up there. I think that, because these just look like really nice garden chairs. I'm gonna flop them in. Yes, that's better. Yes, I do like that. I don't really like that orientation, though. Maybe if I put it over on this side instead. Put it here. And then we've got space here to do two planters. And maybe some single planters going along this point here. I think that could be a nice vibe, actually. Let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. Sorry if I'm, like, ifing or amming of what I'm doing. I'm a bit rusty. I'm a bit rusty. This is the first... This is my first week back from holiday, all right? Be nice. Be nice. I mean, when am I ever not ifing or amming about what I'm doing? You know, to be honest, to be perfectly truthful. Yeah, let's do this. This will work out a lot better. Let's just do, you know what, four's enough. Four's enough to stop being absolutely greedy, Aiden, for goodness sake. Would love a parasol here, but mm, the square one's too big. Oh, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see what I can find. Parasols weren't working, but what is stopping me from flopping in a pergola? You know, so that's what I've done absolutely flopped it right in oh all right Aiden that was a bit aggressive a bit sexual as well if you don't mind um and I think I think that would work I think it does work red flowers are a bit meh but you know we can't have everything in life we cannot have everything in life and that is the mantra for today this it is um I'm gonna put in this but I know that is gonna oh it comes through on the fence there but what more could be said to be honest with you uh, do you know what? It's very cute and simple, but I think that's how I'm going to keep the garden. I don't want anything more here. I don't want anything more. It kind of makes me want to put this a little bit further forward, though. Like, maybe to, like, there. And bring that out a touch as well. Bring that to there. And then put... you. I could put more chairs here. No, I just want it for these two. There's only two of them. The only two of them that are going to be eating breakfast. So I think I'm just going to keep it very simple. Do you know what? We're done for today. We are absolutely done for today. Yeah, I like the I like the aesthetic. I like the way it's come through. I think it's going to be perfect for these two. I really do. Yeah, very happy with that, my loves. Very happy indeed. So as I said, next week we're going to come back and we're going to do the whole downstairs kind of like spa retreat suite together. I wouldn't mind doing like a little bit of outside space here. I might even get rid of this uh, bay window and have like a modern window moment at the bottom. Just so it floods in some extra light there. Maybe we could like put some pillars up to hold upstairs. We'll see what happens with that. But I'm thinking like a little spa retreat. Maybe a couple of massage beds. Double shower. That kind of moment. Hot tub maybe. But this like little retreat away from the world. Down in the basement level. I think that would be perfect for them too. And then as I said. I do want to do a little bit of work off of camera. So I'm going to figure out a floor plan. And things. Um wallpapers and stuff for upstairs but feel free to give me some ideas for upstairs what do you see we're going to be doing a double office a big kind of like main bedroom suite we're going to be doing that as well plus a guest bedroom but if you've got any other ideas then feel free to let me know my sweethearts um because i would be happily taking on some ideas from you i really would we'll leave it here for now thank you so much for watching my loves we're going to be back tomorrow with either I think it's probably going to be the Google Earth video. I think we're going to be coming in with the Google Earth video tomorrow. So keep an eye out for it, my sweets. I'm going to leave you now. Leave me some lovely comments. And I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.